will move on to the semifinal. Who will it be? Bluma with a nice start in lane number seven for the New York Breakers. Again, it's about survive and advance. Castadello, Bluma, out well. Basic moving up as well, and it's going to be Basic, Gastadello, Bluma, and Hahi moving on. And now, the Siobhan Hahi start to become the favorite. The fact that she was able to survive round number one. Yeah, it might come down to a tie again, Bernie, between Beryl and Siobhan, as we keep seeing that. Obviously disappointing for Olivia that she didn't make it back, but she's obviously just raced one too many swims this weekend. It's really, really tough because you've got to get that balance with the skins. Do you put your sprinters in there, or do you put them guys like Siobhan, who's got a little bit more endurance and is able to just keep the momentum going through each round? And think about this from the team standpoint, how big it is for Vasek here to try to move on for the Cali Condors. You gotta have somebody to earn triple points, even with the big lead that they have here going down to the skins. It was such a close finish, and it's all about just putting your head down, trying not to breathe that last five meters, and just getting your hand on the wall first. Gastadella, Bluma, Hahi, and Vasek moving on. Next 50, a minute and a half away. This is so tough for these swimmers. Barely any time to cool down. No, it's interesting to see how they all recover. Some of them like a little bit of swim, swim down and just cool down. Some of them like to just hop straight out and just catch their breath. But it's however, whatever works for you. And a lot of these guys, they'll have done this in training on so many different occasions that they'll be used to it, knowing what works for them. All right, the semi right, for let's the go, girl. Let's listen in. Get Hagi ready. Hagi, Javad Hagi in three. Kasiyasik in four. Castadello in five. And Bluma in six. Everybody on the edge of their seat here in College Park. Only two will move out of the skins final. Gastadella with a good start. Vasek trying to will her way onto the final for the Cali Condors. And look at how close this is. Bluma. Gastadella. Down to the stretch, Hahi trying to close. Hahi with some great closing speed, and Hahi, she moves on. She'll join Gastadello in the final. That was absolutely incredible. I thought, oh, Siobhan's kind of been able to keep up with the speed there. And just on that last five meters, just came through, spotted the wall perfectly, put her head down, and that is where the endurance matters. Wow. Look at how well Hagi played this race. Yeah, starting, looking at her there, she's about in fourth, kind of not a little bit off the pace. These girls, they've got that natural, easy speed. But Siobhan, obviously, with that endurance, that back end, she's got a lovely technique. She's an absolute powerhouse. And she, for me, Siobhan has been one of the standout athletes just because she has just been a, an amazing phenomenon and someone to really watch out for for the future. They're going absolutely crazy. And I must say, I'm down poolside and the crowd is incredible. Hahi on to the final. Gastadella, they will both earn triple points, but only one can be the skin's winner. What a weekend it has been for Beryl Gastadello. 
Both these girls have just been insane this weekend. They've put in some great performances. Obviously, we saw them get a joint burst earlier on. So they're just so equal. They're so tight. So it's just about who's got enough left in the tank for this last 15. Yeah. Skins winner for the DC Triton. Oh, well, Gastadella earned 27 points for the LA Current. All right, the Skins final. Hahi against Gastadello. Seven points for the Cur 